when you set up a brand new Google AdWords account, before you even get to the interface, before you even get to uh, anywhere that you're able to grant anyone else access, they force you to create a campaign to give you a bunch of suggestions. So the default name is fine. They call it campaign number one. Whatever you choose in this box doesn't matter because it's really just going to be a, a, it's to get you past this point. It doesn't matter what boxes you leave checked here. What you're going to do is you're just going to set a camp dummy campaign. United States is fine. You're just going to set it to a dollar bid and a dollar a day budget. All of the defaults are fine because this is never going to go live. Don't check any of these bottom options. And at that point, you should proceed right to ad creation. Now it's asking you to create ad groups. Just leave it called ad group number one, but you do have to put in your website. Make sure you put in the main landing page you want people to go to. And when it comes to entering keywords, just put in test. Scroll down a little further. Don't worry about whatever it suggests over here on the right side. You've typed one in the box on the left and then continue to ads. At this point, you have to actually write an ad. So we're going to call it test. Then you're going to put in the URL that you want people to see. So if you have a long URL, you might just put in the main domain name because it doesn't matter. This isn't the destination URL. This is the nice short URL that you can have look however you want, but it does have to be a real URL on the same domain as your actual the, the URL that you're going to send people to. Then you right here, you're just going to put test test again, then hit save. At that point, your ad is live. You will then get your interface to complete and you'll have this gearbox available to you in the top right so that you can grant access to someone. That's it. Have an optimal day.